Just a few days ago, I published a video where I called Dolly 2 the best model you could pay for. Well, yesterday, Mid Journey released version 4, and today, I am eating my words. <laughs> In this video, I want to do justice to how amazing Mid Journey has just become. I've already generated over 150 upscales, and I could just show you my favorites. But there's a problem. Showing you what Midjourney is best at is just confirmation bias that isn't going to get us anywhere. Instead, I want to pit Midjourney against the very best images of Dolly 2. If you've ever scrolled down on the Dolly 2 homepage, you'll see examples of everything that makes Dolly 2 so great. They're showcasing Dolly 2's strengths for different styles, techniques, and it shows beautiful images, and when you click on one, Dolly 2 gives you the prompt that created it. A prompt I can easily put into Midjourney. I'm not going to cherry pick or waste your time. I will talk about every prompt on this page, and for each one, I generated the exact same in mid-journey once, upscaled my favorite, and that's what I show you. I promise you will be as blown away as I am. I do want to give you a sense of what they look like, so I want to start off pretty fast. Oh my god. These differences are insane. These, those first five or six, whatever I just showed you, I think you can kind of clearly see that Midjourney has some obvious strengths. They have stronger color choices, Midjourney has more interesting textures, and overall it seems just as coherent, but with added detail that just makes the image pop. There's gonna be some problems though, it's still lacking a little bit in intelligence. Take a look at this one. A blue orange sliced in half laying on a blue floor in front of a blue wall. Dolly 2 did perfectly on this. I imagine it might have been curated and Dolly 2 might sometimes do something wrong with that same prompt, but if we look at what Mid Journey did for me, this is the best out of four images. This one here, there's blue skin on the orange in the back, but I'm not really sure what's going on with it. I think it might be hollowed out entirely, and then there's just a quarter of an orange just laying there and it doesn't have blue skin. I wouldn't call it a blue orange at all. It's complicated because orange is both the color and the fruit and changing the color of the fruit, I imagine AI is just going to have a difficult time with overall, but there is definitely problems with this mid-journey generation that Dolly 2 was able to handle with its intelligence. Though its intelligence is perfect. Let's take a look at this one. This is a 3D render of an astronaut walking in a green desert. If you read that closely, it's a 3D render of an astronaut walking in a green desert. Not a green astronaut walking in a regular desert, but a green astronaut walking, or a regular astronaut walking in a green desert. And Dolly 2 missed, right? It doesn't seem to do that kind of at all. This is a regular desert. There's like green grass there, but the, it's the astronaut that's green and not really anything else. Now let's go over to Mid Journey. Mid Journey didn't necessarily solve the problem. I think turning a desert entirely green is a little bit antithetical to what a desert is. But if you look at this, this is clearly an astronaut and the adjustment it made did make the world green, except the world was in the sky. There was also green grass just like Dolly 2's and the desert itself stayed just as tan. But I think overall this is a more coherent, more interesting, and more artistic image and it actually had better intelligence than Dolly 2 in this case. Um, so I'm impressed with that overall and uh, let's move right along to the next one. This is a future, futuristic neon lit cyborg face. And Dolly 2's framing is interesting. Um, and it's not obviously cyborg-y. This could just be like human and neon. It's like, it just looks like human anatomy, you know? Now let's go over to Mid Journey, who I think absolutely nailed this prompt. Oh my God. Look at this cyborg face that's neon lit <laughs> and futuristic. It just like actually did the entire thing and it's just breathtaking. Wow. Um, I really, really love this image and the sy symmetry gives it a lot of pop and being able to frame it so you can actually see the whole face, whereas Dolly 2 zoomed in so close that you don't actually get the face at all, which I was pretty disappointed by, to be honest. I feel like this one is missing out compared to what Mid Journey was able to do with just those few words. I would say this is in the creativity side of things, um, where or perhaps even just the style side of things where 
Midjourney was able to kind of take that prompt and turn it into this is what the cyborg face could look like. And it made a lot, it did a lot of imagination to make it all work. I don't know what any of this stuff does, these lights and antenna, but it worked really well. Whereas Dolly 2 just kind of lit up the seams, which I think they were missing out on. Um, moving over to the computer from the synthwave style, or the computer in the vaporwave style, and yeah, this is a computer. It's lost some coherence. The keyboard doesn't really make sense, and there's extra lines all over the place, and the mouse doesn't look like it could be a mouse, and the computer in the bed is just a box. And over here, what Midjourney did was just incredible. You know, there are still some problems. I think this might be with the upscale, but. Overall, this looks like a computer from the 90s and is in that blocky, interesting, cybery vapor style that I'm really impressed with. I'm not 100% sure what Vaporwave is. I tried to look into as many of these as I could, but I think these are in a similar style and Mid Journeys just looks better, which, okay, that's kind of the whole point of this. I'll start going a little faster again. You can kind of see the Van Gogh uh, style of American football player, Van Gogh style of American football player. I actually like Dolly 2s here just a little bit more. I don't think we really hit Van Gogh's style quite as much. These are Van Gogh's colors in his own self-portrait, but I think Van Gogh is more of a, like a gesture artist rather than kind of the smoothed out details that we got here. Um, cartoon Monkey. These are different takes on a cartoon monkey. Dolly 2's looks pretty good. It's lost, the eyes look very strange, but overall this is a valid cartoon monkey out in space and looks pretty good. I really love Mid Journeys though. It's not quite as like, oh, this is cartoon show, but it's definitely a cartoon style and it looks really, really good. I'm so impressed with it. Um, I can kind of leave it there. This is actually a question on knowledge that I think Dolly 2 beat Mid Journey on. This is a plush toy robot and I don't think Midjourney actually figured out that this was plush. This is just a toy robot sitting against the yellow wall, and the plush just kind of disappears. I'm disappointed since it was the second word in the prompt. But overall, I actually like the framing and the character that this robot has better than Dolly 2's. It just lost the plush. I'm sure if, with a little bit different prompt, you could get it back. I'm very confident Midjourney can create a plush toy. This just isn't it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a bowl of soup that is a portal to another dimension, digital art. Yeah, well, this is kind of a Midjourney classic. This is something Midjourney will excel at, so let's check it out. Yeah, this is amazing. Midjourney just beat this, and it's out of the, like, so, so much better. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this image. Um, Dolly 2 kind of didn't stand a chance with this one, but we can kind of move along. This is a sea otter with pearl earrings. Sea otter with pearl earring. Wait, Midjourney, where's the pearl earring? Yeah, none of the four images I got had an actual earring in it, and this gave the style of the Johannes Vermeer's artwork that it's kind of referencing so much better. So this this was kind of the best one that I had. And yeah, the earring never showed up. Again, this is like a main part of the image. I think treating it as the title um, made it so Midjourney didn't really know that that would necessarily be a part of the image. Again, I'm sure if you messed around with the prompt, you could probably get an earring in there. This one just didn't have it. We'll speed run a little bit more. Porsche 911, Porsche 911 looks pretty good from both. I do like Mid Journeys. This is a high quality photo of a monkey astronaut and a high quality photo of a monkey astronaut. I think Dolly 2 is a little bit more photo-y, Mid Journey is a little bit less photo-y, but also a little bit more impressive. Um, I think part of the lack of photo realism is part of I'm using the beta upscaler, which makes it a little bit painterly overall, but I really like it for the resolution, get really high quality image. Um, we'll go over to Cyberpunk Monster. Dolly 2's is kind of meh, pretty mid. But over here in Mid Journey, oh my god, it really won this prompt. Very, very impressive. Uh, Michelangelo's David wearing headphones uh, DJing. Michelangelo's David wearing headphones DJing. Actually, I think this is a Dolly 2 winner. You get them now and then. The hand is a little off here. Dolly 2 didn't try to have a hand. And then the, just the pose and how it works as a DJ. Uh, Dolly 2 just did a better job. I don't have too much to say on this one. 
we'll look at an abstract painting of artificial intelligence. And I like Dolly 2's, but it doesn't seem as abstract as I really want. It is like a person thinking and artificial doesn't really come in, into it. It could just be intelligence. Or you go over to Mid Journeys and it's definitely an abstract painting and there's not really a person with the light bulb switch. This is very abstract. And still you get this like, this is, could be some brain-like vibes and it does seem very mechanical and artificial. And I think it really hits the nail on the head for that one. And I'm, I'm actually really impressed. We'll move on to the Andy Warhol painting of a French bulldog. Andy Warhol painting of a French bulldog. I think you'll agree Mid Journeys pops just a little bit more. I'm more impressed with it. Continue moving along. I don't want to kind of spend too much time on anything, but yeah, Mid Journey or Dolly 2 and Mid Journey. And uh, Dolly 2 wins this one again too. I this this is one of those ones where Mid Journey is supposed to be better at two figures, and this is clearly two figures, but it wasn't the figures we asked for. There's supposed to be a dog and a cat, and the dog is supposed to have its tongue out, and the cat, uh, well, the cat is not really a cat. The cat's more like, they're, they're both kind of a mix between a dog and a cat, leaning pretty heavily towards dog, and it's the cat with the tongue out instead of the dog with the tongue out. It just, it lost on intelligence there, which I think we'll see quite a bit from Mid Journey in comparison to Dolly 2. Uh, moving right along to the skateboard photo, clearly I see Mid Journey as the winner again. Mid Journey is really blowing this sort of image out of the water. Um, abstract oil painting of a river. This is interesting. Um, it's somewhat abstract, but you still get all the vibes of this is a river, this is a mountain, and Mid Journey Solution, I think I actually like not quite as much because again, this is like a light and color study, but not abstract at all. It's a river and a mountain and it just di asked, did what you asked for, which doesn't really hit the abstractness, but I will say this is much more of an oil painting than Dolly 2's image, so I will give it to that one. Um, go over here to the centered explosion of a colorful powder on a black background and... I thought this was a really impressive image until I saw Mid Journeys, and now Dolly 2's looks kind of lame. There is so much color and so much movement in this image. I am so impressed with it. It's actually, it's actually incredible to see. Um, we'll keep moving it. I, I, again, you, you can see it just as well as I am. I'm analyzing them a little bit, but I'm not going to blow you out of the water. You can look at the futuristic cyborg poster hanging in a neon subway station. Um, I actually don't have my mid journey one in front of me. I remember it being pretty impressive though. And so I think I'm giving this one to mid journey as well. Uh, and here this is, I'm losing some of my images. I don't have this one either. Hang on. Um, I'll show you these. This is Dolly 2. This is Mid Journey. The cat in Mid Journeys looks a lot better and the spacecraft looks a lot better. And the oil pastel, it might be more of an oil pastel from Dolly 2, but still I like Mid Journey's image. Um, sunlit indoor pool. This lost coherence in the Dolly 2 version. The, it, the intelligence, they both kind of lost. The water should be pink and the room is pink. Neither of them did that, but Dolly 2's image just doesn't look real. You look at this kind of section in the middle here, whereas the one that Mid Journey came up with is nicely like straight lines and spread out and looks like it could be a real place. Um, moving down to our Synthwave sunset, and yeah, this is sort of Synthwave-y, but it's also just like, oh, you have a neon rim lighting on the ocean, and then you go over to Mid Journeys, and yes, this is synth wavy all the way, and it's actually so impressive. I would give this one to Mid Journey in a heartbeat. Uh, you can look at the hand palm growing uh, with a tree growing on top of it, and Dolly 2 wins this one for me. Mid Journey did fine, but you don't really see the palm and the hand. It's just a little bit iffy. Still impressive work from both of them. Um, that's a hard image for an AI. I'm actually impressed Dolly 2 was able to do it. Uh, cartoon cat, cartoon of a cat catching a mouse. This is more cartoony. This is like a more recent cartoon, how the 3D cartoons might look nowadays. And I don't know, I th think you could go either way of them. They just really took a different stance on style and I kind of like Dolly 2's, sorry to say. But moving right along, watercolor uh, and pencil drawing of a futuristic city and Dolly 2's is 
fine, but Mid Journeys is incredible. This is a common theme. It's just so, so good. Look at these cars. They're interesting designs and look like they could really be there. And it's still like color pencil and watercolor. The style really is there. Actually, I think Dolly 2 barely used watercolor at all. This was just color pencil. This was just pencils. So I, I really, really like Mid Journeys on this one. Uh, down here, Formula One car. The Formula One car from Mid Journey is just so much better. Ooh, balloon animal. Yeah, this was a an intelligence problem. 3D render of a pink balloon dog in a violet room. Dolly 2 did great. This is an awesome image. Mid Journey didn't know what a pink balloon dog is, so made a pink dog that happened to have a balloon instead of a tail. It just, it just didn't under, like, maybe this is a knowledge problem, but I think it's, it actually is intelligence, kind of like where I said you need a hot dog is food, or a hot dog is a puppy during summer, and this one, a pink balloon dog is a balloon dog, it's a dog made out of a balloon, not a dog with a balloon for a tail, it just didn't really understand. Continuing along, this is Dolly 2's photograph of the sunflower, and I didn't think you could get much better than that. Again, until I saw Mid Journeys. Wow! The reflections on the glasses and just the sunflower and the colors. I'm just, I just really love Mid Journeys image for this, so I'm gonna have to give it to Mid Journey. The towers here, um, the, the towers look interesting on Dolly 2, but it doesn't really have the futuristic vibe that I want. Uh, the sky bridge really exists and it's the the towers are covered in foliage, not the sky bridge. So I think the intelligence there is kind of lost. Um, whereas Mid Journey really nailed all of it. The sky bridge. I imagine that Mid Journey de determined that what we see here is walking across the sky bridge, and the towers go down lower and lower. And maybe this thing going across could be the sky bridge, but. I doubt it. I bet it's it kind of lost the sky bridge, but the foliage and the towers just look so much more beautiful. And I love the angle it shows. It looks really, really good. Um, hand-drawn sailboat circled by birds on the sea at sunrise. And hand-drawn is one of those styles that can just kind of make things a little worse. It tries to make it hand-drawn, and it's kind of bad. And then mid-journey makes it kind of hand-drawn and then oh my god that is so impressive <laughs> and it's actually circled by the birds and it's in this circle and it just looks amazing and the sunset is just so beautiful um i really love this image and mid journeys just doesn't stand up to it uh the the Shiba Inu dog wearing a beret and a black turtleneck. I think Dolly 2's has a better beret. It's more photorealistic, not that it asked specifically for a photograph. And uh, it looks more like a sh uh, Shiba Inu. I don't actually know how to say that dog breed's name. Sorry. Um, <laughs> correct me in the comments. Thank you. But no, I, I, I like Dolly 2's for this one. Mid Journey will never be quite as photorealistic. And it doesn't seem to actually know what a beret is. This is more like a beanie. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give this one to Dolly, which we'll see now and then. The comic book of a superhero wearing headphones, comic book of a superhero wearing headphones. Both of these are really good. I think Dolly 2 is a little bit more comic booky, whereas this is, I don't know, a little bit more digital art rather than comic book. But either way, I like both of these images and the colors from Mid Journey are really, really good. But it, the, I think Dolly 2 followed the prompt just a little bit better. An abstract visual of artificial intelligence, kind of like our abstract painting, but this is actually just like, oh, this is that classic robot artificial intelligence. And this works, Dolly 2's image is fine. And then we go to Mid Journey. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is incredible. I'm sure this will be my thumbnail because, oh my god, this is an abstract visual of artificial intelligence. So impressive, so entertaining, and so, so, so good. I just really love this image, and I hope you do too. We're almost at the end here. We're going to look at a cat riding a motorcycle. There's no style hint here, and this style is a little lame when you compare it to what Mid Journey came up with. Wowie, a cat riding a motorcycle having the time of his life. <laughs> Amazing. All right. And lastly, we're going to do a 3D render balloon colored hot air balloon flying above a reflective lake. And Dolly 2's is pretty good. Mid Journeys is amazing. And I think if there's any common theme there, that is it. 
Midjourney makes beautiful images every single time. You might have to work with the prompts just a little bit, especially if it's lost knowledge on things like Pink Balloon Dog, but I am so, so impressed with Midjourney. I'll run a few more of my uh, art that I've created in here because so much of it is so, so cool and I don't anticipate stopping using Midjourney V4 for a long, long time until Midjourney comes up with something better because it is blowing every image out of the park and I love whatever it comes up with. I do think I will return to Dolly 2 for in-painting and out-painting because that's not something Midjourney can do, but other than that, I don't anticipate filling up on Dolly 2 credits ever again while I have my mid-journey subscription. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.